This grandma sweatshirt sold over 34 times in the last 24 hours. And there's multiple products just like this that sell extremely well also. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how easy it is to take this design and recreate it in your own special way and bring it in a unique twist to these type of designs. You can start selling right now on Etsy. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, one of the main platforms we're gonna take a look at today to help us create these best selling designs is Kittle. Kittle is a great place for you to create all of your print on demand products because they have a large category of templates you can use to actually help you start your design and recreate something that can sell well on Etsy. And with their unique text feature, you're able to redesign these texts in a different way to really bring out some cool and unique font styles. Now, if you wanna check out Kittle on your own, they were so kind to give my audience a discount code for you to try this out and to see if it's best for your print on demand business. I make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below. All right, so here we are in Kittle. And one thing I like about using this is you're able to find really good templates to use for your pro on demand products. So I like to go to the search bar and type in a specific theme or style I like to focus on. We already know on Etsy retro, anything is really trending, doing well. So I just simply type in retro. And when you go down below, you're able to see these font styles already in place. Again, this saves us so much time because again, we want to utilize fonts in different elements that we know to work well. So we see these type of retro elements here and we see these type of font designs here that we can use for our print on demand products. So for this example today, we're definitely gonna start off creating this as a new project. So I wanna head over to new. And it will give you some options in regards to what type of canvas you want to use. So instead of us going to the standard, we're going to head over to POD presets. And we definitely know that we're going to create four Printify. So we have Printify t-shirt here. And we have different ones that we can focus on as well, like a Printify mug or in a hoodie. But in our case today, we're just going to stick with the Printify t-shirt. And I can open up that here. And now we have everything ready for us to create our design. So one of the things about Kiddo is that they already use popular text in their software that's trending on Etsy. So if I want to go ahead and pull up my text, I'm just going to push the letter T on my keyboard and that brings up my text here. I can make this larger so I can see what I'm working with. And we definitely want to go along with a script type design along with bringing in some retro style elements here. And so we definitely want to focus on that grandma design. We know it work well all over Etsy, but bringing something a little bit different to make our product stand out even more. And I think bringing in that retro style design for grandma is going to work extremely well for us. And so once we go over to our text, we can see these text settings here. And automatically what pops out to me is this retro sunny drop text font that I think will be great for us to add to our design. We can actually go up here and search them up by category. So we know we're going to use some script fonts for our custom names. So when I go over to script, we have these things here. And again, it's just easy to see these text designs, being able to use them and to understand that these are also trending well on Etsy and we can use this on our print on demand product. So in our case today, I want to go back to where we were and we're going to use the sunny drop here and now we can start designing our product now we know the top of our line is going to say grandma so i can add that in here and we know the bottom of our text is going to use that personalization with the script fonts so i want to hit t again and i just want to select a text as a placeholder so we know how we can formulate our custom designs here so i'm just going to put james head over to text settings, go over to script and find one I believe to work well. All right, we found this font that we're gonna use here that I think will work well with our names. And so again, we'll add these names in a little bit further once we bring in our elements, but I think everything is good here just to get our text set in place for our top area and to get our personalization text in place with our names here at the bottom. Now, there's a couple of things we can do here to make it stand out even more. We can bring in some retro elements designs. Again, we see all these options here for us to click some elements from Kittle. And even if we can't find anything from Kittle elements, we can head over to Kittle AI and plug in a prompt and there we can actually create some cool things using AI. And I love this because it's all in a Kittle itself, which can be easily merged over to our design to further create our product. 
But in our case today, we're going to specifically use birth flowers as that's trading on Etsy. And we definitely want to bring them over into our design and finish up our product here. So from here, we're going to jump into Creative Fabrica. We're going to grab some elements that we can plug into Kittle and add some more things to our design. We can start selling on Etsy. So here we are in Creative Fabrica. And all I want to search up here is birth flower. And there are a ton of different options here we can choose. Again, we can find ones that are not colored but we can also find ones that are watercolor. So this is the one I want to use here. And notice how we have the opportunity to put the name at the bottom. So we definitely want to utilize ones that has that space. And so we can go ahead and download this. And the cool thing about Kittle is that we can upload this to our Kittle software and we can still utilize all the great functions here in Kittle to make our design stand out even more. So let's go ahead and upload our design now. So for us to upload our elements into Kittle, we'll head over to uploads. We'll head over to this option here. And then we want to find the folder where we have all of our designs that we're going to use and upload them here. And now Kittle will start uploading these elements into our area for us to use on our print on demand product. All right, so now we see Kittle has uploaded all of our birth flower designs we can start using on our print on demand product here. Now with this particular product here that we're gonna create, we definitely want to be mindful that this is two type of customizations. Number one, we're bringing in the birth flower to represent whatever, you know, month that child is born in but we also want to add in that child's name at the bottom that we know is doing extremely well so here we're just going to create this as a placeholder for us to showcase on our etsy listing but truly when we go and create this for a customer we will need to change these things out like the birth flower and obviously the name to fit the customer's order so in our case today let's just plug in some things here to just make up our placeholder design and all you gotta do here is just click it and it'll add this to our project. So now we have all of our birth flowers in place for our design. And one of the things I like to do to make sure they all move the right way and shrink down to the proper size is to highlight all of them together, move them over in place and shrink them down to size just to fit our canvas here. And I think everything is lined up well here. Now I can go a little bit further into Kittle and just line up everything here. And I can head over to this little button where it says tidy and you'll make sure everything is spaced out accordingly and everything is good here. Now with our personalization, with our text, we definitely want to add the names at the bottom here. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. Obviously we can go straight on here or we can go ahead and rotate this to the side and have the name at the bottom of our element. And one of the things I'm looking for just to make sure this is lined up properly is if you notice here, we have these little degrees with numbers on the right hand side. Obviously the numbers are changing when I rotate my design and I definitely want this to be focused on 90 degrees as that is straight down for our design. So that's the number I'm looking at when I'm rotating this over to the side to make sure everything is lined up properly. Now I have everything set for our first placeholder name. So I can put that here and all I have to do for the rest of the names is just right click go over to copy, right click again, go over to paste. Now I have that orientation for this text already in place and I can add in my names here. All right, so now we have all of our names in place. So we can make this even larger. I'm going to highlight all of my text here. And again, just make this a little bit larger to stand out even more on our design. And now I'll just line them up according to our elements we have here. And I think everything is good here. And now I have my grandma text in place. So I think our entire design is great and everything is in place. Now, if we do want to add some things to make our product stand out even more, one of the things I found to work well on these type of products is just adding in some butterflies to our design that is actually growing in trend right now. So I can head over to Kittle go to elements. I'm going to just simply type in butterfly and I have it here. And you can see here that there's a lot of different options that we can choose from in regards to what type of butterflies we can add to our design. I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to add these small little butterflies at the top of our design. And I'm going to use the colors here from the flowers that's represented from the bottom just to add in just one more thing to make our product stand out even more. If I want to go ahead and change my color to my butterfly, I can head over to the object color. And instead of us just trying to eyeball the color here, I can go over to this pick tool, which it will extract whatever color we grab. I want to go ahead and grab a color here. And I want to go ahead and grab in a color here, which I can just zoom in, copy, paste, add in some more butterflies here at the bottom. 
go all the way down here. This is a great way also to add in some color if you want your text to stay black, but you definitely want to have some color pop. It's a great way to add that in as well. And I'll add in some more colors from our flowers to change the color of our butterflies up top. All right, so here we have our butterflies in place. And I think this works well to bring out some more color pop in our designs, especially if we wanna keep our text, you know, black or white or whatever specific color we want to use. Now, instead of us just having all of our butterflies here just stagnant, we definitely want to rotate them. And you can see that same type of degree number being shown here. So I just wanna rotate one to the left, rotate one to the right and just bring in some different variants for our design. And I think that is working extremely well here. And again, what we've done here, we added in some trending things that's working well all over the place with Etsy. We know the retro font is doing well. That's what we added in here. We know that the script font is doing well with personalized names. That's what we added in here. We know the birth flowers are actually trending well in this design space. We added that here and on other type of retro designs, we know that butterflies added to the design itself is doing well here. And I have not seen any butterfly designs added to these grandma birth flower t-shirt or sweatshirt design so i think adding in that element that's not represented here will make our product stand out even more and we're utilizing something that we already know is gaining sales in other niches so again everything is good here i think this design has worked out well one of the things i like to do when everything is set in place is go ahead and highlight everything here and i want to right click and i want to hit group and the reason for this is that if something moves everything is in place if i want to make it smaller or larger as you can see here everything is dialed in in the right area so i don't have to worry about anything being kicked out of place if it's not lined up properly and if my design gets out of place i can go back to this area here and just click center and everything is centered on my design and i like to move my designs up a little bit further as that's going to work well for our t-shirt space now one of the things i like with kiddo is before i even download this to use this for my pro on demand product I can go into the mockups and see exactly how this is going to look on my design itself. If I'm selling a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, I can head over to t-shirts here. And as you can see, my design is showing up right in place. And I think our design looks great and brings out a lot of great trending elements we know to work well elsewhere. I can use the same thing on a sweatshirt mockup just to see how this will look. And again, I think everything is well here for our design. If you want to sell this on a mug, we can actually go change the dimensions and add in a mug here. And obviously we definitely want to change the text color if we're selling a different color mug. In our case today, I think everything looks well here. And one of the areas that a lot of people miss out on that has a lot of potential is selling on pillows. Now, if you notice, we're taking one design and utilizing this in multiple spaces for us to sell multiple products. And Kittle offers that opportunity for you to take one design and use it in different areas. But in our case today, we definitely just want to stick with a t-shirt and in our case today, this is the style that we definitely want to bring over to our design. Now, if everything is good here, we will head over to back to editor and then we will head over to download and we definitely want to remove the background here and we want to optimize the quality. We want to select P and G as that's going to remove the background and just give us our elements, our fonts that we added here for us to use on our print on demand product. So I would download that here. And as you can see, it's just that easy for you to create trending designs that you know are working extremely well on Etsy that you can start using yourself and bring in different elements that's not being represented here that can do extremely well for you as you sell these, just not on sweatshirts or t-shirts, but on multiple products as well. So as you can see, finding amazing designs to create with Kittle is really easy to do. It can actually speed up your entire design process once you found that template that works well for your design style. Now, if you wanna check out Kittle on your own, again, I make sure I leave that discount code in my description box below for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to go over how to actually set this entire design up with your print on demand business to start selling on Etsy. However, if you want to learn that next step, click this next video here. And if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.